Check this out. We are creating pixel art in Google Sheets. I'll show you in this video how to bring in some pre-made templates that consist of numbered grids and turn them into pixel art in Google Sheets with conditional formatting. So this is just coming some from, from some coloring book pages that I've got from my kids. And all it is here in Google Sheets, as you can see, it's just numbers. So all the blue is number 15, all the black is number 14, and we've got it conditionally formatted so that the text color matches the background color. So it's just colored in. Pretty cool. But that's not as cool as it gets because we'll also see how to program in Google Sheets this paint by numbers coloring grid. We'll have a blank canvas. And then every time you click a cell, it turns the color corresponding to that pixel art that we've got on the other tab. Pretty neat stuff, not as hard as you might think either. Join along, watch till the end to learn how to do this. And of course, we'll have our clear button down here to wipe the canvas clean. Hope you enjoy this. Click like and subscribe to the channel. We are growing. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. First thing that we need is a grid of numbers. If you search color by number grid like I do for my kids so that they have some coloring pages, you're going to find a bunch of these pixel art style grids. And they're going to be blank grids with numbers in them corresponding to the color. They got a color key down here. This is exactly what we need for our purposes to build out a Google Sheet. Now, the only problem is that you can't just do one fell swoop, copy and paste. It's going to want to paste all these in one cell, which is no good. What we do instead is paste it or open it rather in Microsoft Word. If you're on Mac, uh, you know, this should work in pages. Let me know if it does or doesn't. But in Word, it works fine. And then you can literally copy and paste straight from there. Now I'm going to speed this part up. What I'm going to do is simply make stuff look good. I'm going to format everything the way that it needs to be. I'm going to get all the heights and widths of the rows and stuff the way that it should be. So it's a, a big square grid. Let's select them again and go format conditional formatting. Here is where the fun stuff happens. We're going to select equal to and then for each number, in our number key, which we have over here in our Word document for uh, 10, it'll be blue. We're going to make the font color and the background color be the same. Now, we actually can't make them exactly the same for uh, reasons that we will discuss when we get to our script. So one of them needs to be just a little bit different. So it can't be the exact hex code. So if you change one of these digits by one, you visibly won't be able to tell the difference. Don't forget to do this because you will hit a, uh, a problem and you'll have errors in your checkboxes if, if you do. Now I'm going to speed this up, but we're just doing this for every number. So I will name this my art, and then I'm going to create a new sheet for my canvas. Now, if you were just looking to figure out how to do the conditional formatting parts, you're done. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Sheets content. But if you want to go a step further, strap in because we're going to dive into Google Apps Script and make a paint by numbers blank canvas right here. If you're still here, you've chosen wisely. The first thing we're going to do is set up our canvas to look exactly like our artwork only with a blank frame. I'm going to do that right now. Let's name this range inside of here. Now we need something in here that will toggle on and off. And in Google Sheets, checkboxes are kind of the only way that we have to do that. So I'm just going to right click and do drop down. This opens up the data validation rules selection over here on the right. And we're going to select checkboxes. Now, in the same way that we made our conditional formatting almost invisible, we're going to do that to our checkboxes. We're going to do the fill color white, which it already is. And then we're going to set our font color to white, only we're going to change it just ever so slightly. We're going to do FFF EFF. Okay, so now they're virtually invisible. But you can see in the formula box, it does toggle on and off. True, false, true, false. So they're all going to be set up as false at first. Now we need something to happen once we trigger one of these check boxes. For that, we're going to use Google Apps Script. 
go up here to extensions, app script, and I'm gonna just put this side by side here. Let's name our project, and we want an actual on edit function instead of that uh, generic my function, because what we want here is for any time an edit is made to the active sheet, we wanna pull the format off of the artwork and we want to plug it into the canvas. So anytime an edit is made on this sheet, and an edit will count as a toggle on and off checkbox. So anytime this is clicked, we wanna bring in the formatting to this cell. So first let's get the current sheet. We're gonna make a variable, this is pretty common notation, a variable called sheet, and we're gonna get the active sheet. So if we're on Canvas, this is the active sheet and it should get that sheet name. And I'm gonna just gonna show that to you. If you ever want to uh, debug some stuff in here, if you're coming from um, JavaScript or somewhere, this is like console logging. We can console log the sheet name by doing this. And now we're gonna run it and it's gonna say, hey, let's review the permissions. We wanna make sure we, uh, we know what we're doing here. It's asking us, hey, verify that you want this script to run on your machine and check that out. It's, it prints out canvas for us. If we're on art over here, this should print out art. And there it does. Next thing we need to test that we are actually on the art sheet and, um, or, or that we're on the canvas and not on the art sheet. So we're gonna do if sheet.getName is not art, then we do all the stuff we want it to do. And the first thing that we want it to do is get the active cell and then it's row column reference. So we do some more variables here. The active range is the sheet that get active cell. So that means over here in Canvas, wherever the cursor is, that's the active cell. So the active cell here, the active range rather would be G5. We can pull the row and column out by um, running these methods on it there. From there, we need to get the range in the art sheet that corresponds to the row and column of our active range in the canvas sheet. So if we're in G5 here and we toggle this, it's gonna grab G5 for the column and row, and then this art range is going to be getting that range from the art sheet. So it's gonna get G5, this black square right here, from our art. Once we've grabbed the necessary ranges, then we can get the background color and the font color from those ranges. So here's two more variables. It's gonna use this new variable we just created, the art range, and it's just gonna get the background and it's gonna get the font color. Anytime you want to save your code, you can click Control S like normal in your app script dialog here and it will save the code. If you make a change, you'll see up here that there's a little orange circle that means it's not saved. Now I'm gonna log out here again and this logs out the background color and font color for the active ranges reference in the art canvas. So it's that black black background and just barely different black font color. So it's grabbing the correct stuff. Now, this part is um, optional, but what I want to happen is for when I toggle the checkbox, if it's false and I toggle it on, I want the background and the font color to come in from the art sheet. But if I click it again and go from true to false, I want it to go back to white. So I'm gonna create a true false state and I'm just gonna say, hey, get the value of the active range. And the value you remember is this false value. If I toggle this on, the value is now true, okay? So I'm just getting that value. And if that's true, if true false, so that's if this is true, then I wanna set the active range with that background and font color. So then I'm gonna go active range, set background, background color, set font color, font color. I'm gonna save this and if I click here, it should bring over black. If I click down here, it should bring over blue. Check that out, it is working. I'll add the else statement now. So if it is true, it's gonna do this. And actually before I save it, I'll show you that if I click it again, so it's back to false, but it's still red, nothing's happening. So now it's true and, and basically, you might wanna leave it this way. That way it wouldn't be able to change back to white. 
But if I bring over this else statement, I'm going to save it now. Then if I click it again, it's going to go back to that off white color. And now this is a working paint by numbers grid. Now you may notice a little bit of a lag. It's running that same script over and over every time we click this, but you know, it works and it's very cool. One thing I will make note of, uh, initially in the setup, I had left the size of these checkboxes at like 10, font size 10. You need to increase this to like something huge. That way, if you click just outside on the edge, it will still trigger the checkbox. If it's a regular size checkbox, it is possible to not actually trigger it if you're like on the edge of the cell. So now all that's left is an optional step, which we're going to create a button to clear the entire canvas. So down here at the bottom of our app script, we're going to create a new function. We're going to call it reset. And it's not going to be in this edit function because we only want this to trigger when we specify. We're going to grab then another sheet variable, the active sheet. We're going to make a checkboxes variable. And then we're going to go sheet that get range by name canvas art. We're going to set the checkboxes values to false, the background to this off white or this white, and then the font color to this almost white. So that will reset everything in the art canvas. Now, if you notice in the top here, you can toggle between your scripts and I'm going to toggle the reset so that I can just run that from straight in here and check that out. It does clear the art canvas. The other way to clear that and the cooler way is to come over here, insert drawing. We're going to make a shape, this rounded box here, just like so. Double click in there and write clear. Make it a better font. Make it bigger. And there we go. Now we've got this big old clear button. And if you click this little drop down, we can say assign script. Looky there. Just type in reset, no parentheses or anything. And now scripts working, scripts working, boom, clear, and it clears everything. I hope this has been helpful for you. It was a lot of fun to make. You can bring in any type of pixel art. And because this uh, script over here uses named ranges and not actual hard-coded ranges, it could be bigger or smaller so long as you select the range and name it as art and then make sure that your art canvas corresponds one-to-one -one with this art range. Hope you have a great one. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome sheet content. Have a great one. You're awesome. Bye.